everything you need to know about the Toyota Mirai Hydrogen. If you're looking for a new car in the market, Toyota Mirai Hydrogen is what your family needs. Today, we're going to cover everything from its interior, exterior, pricing, and engine. So stick till the end. The first generation of Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicle is, to say the very least, unusual. The previous Mirai was not an attractive car, with odd proportions and looked much like a deadly toaster. When you see the 2022 Toyota Mirai, you'll wonder whatever benevolent fairy godmother transformed the unstylish into the breathtakingly magnificent. But this isn't an automobile from a fairy tale. The Mirai is a hydrogen truth, a beautiful cruiser capable of releasing nothing but water. Unfortunately, the infrastructure necessary to make the Mirai practical for most people remains a pipe dream. To create version 2.0, Toyota discarded practically everything from the initial Mirai. It rides on a redesigned platform that is 3.3 inches longer, 2.5 inches lower, and 2.7 inches broader. This one, too, transmits power backward, making it the first rear-drive Toyota car in decades. It's also a nice-looking piece. Of course, the increased proportions contribute. However, the lines are also expressing an entirely different language. Thin headlamps and a sharply curved grille give it some front-end presence, but the sides are devoid of any fussy features. Over the back, the rear window almost reaches the rear spoiler, evoking the Audi A8 with its full-width taillight design. That's not an awful company to hang out with. When it comes to the new Mirai's engine, the Toyota Mirai is powered by a fuel cell electric powertrain, which means that hydrogen is turned into energy by an onboard fuel cell, basically a movable chemical laboratory. Fuel cells generate energy by removing electrons from hydrogen atoms. Then, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water, whereas the electrons power an electric motor. Consequently, an electric car powered by hydrogen from a compressor rather than electrons obtained from the country's electrical power system is created. The Mirai's electric motor generates 182 horsepower, which is sent to the rear wheels through a one-speed direct-drive gearbox. Even though Toyota claims the Mirai takes 9.1 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, the instantaneous speed of the electric motor's power supply makes it feel faster when driving in town. Similarly, the rear-wheel drive chassis provides a surprising amount of agility while maintaining a smooth and balanced ride. The Mirai's interior is a comfortable spot to spend time with a spacious cabin and plenty of natural light. The Mirai shares its space with the Lexus LS and provides plenty of room for front seat occupants. It's not awful in the back, though, with that elegant roofline still providing 37.4 inches of space for rear seat occupants. The Mirai's two-tone interior screams luxury with copper touches to jazz it up. Toyota Canada informs us that this is a pre-production model, although everything appears to be in good working order. Aside from the fiddly volume buttons, the remainder of the middle stack is well organized, even if it's a lot of piano black. The shifter's position isn't the best, though, which is high on the dashboard like the Prius Prime. In the classic Toyota form, the front seats are designed for long-distance comfort with decent lower back and thigh support. There isn't much lateral padding, but Mirai purchasers will not be bothered about that. The rear seat arrangements are less than ideal. The outboard seats are adequate, but the fifth seat in the middle has a raised floor. And the seat cushion significantly restricts space if you're four up. Sure, it's a five-seater, but only when one of those seats isn't connected to any legs. At the very least, the trunk has a usable volume of 9.6 cubic feet. The Mirai features a more significant 12.3-inch screen derived from the Toyota Highlander. That makes it very straightforward to understand at a glance. Toyota, for unclear reasons, eliminated a volume knob as well, displacing audio control to annoying small rectangular buttons beneath the screen. But that all rely on personal preferences. Let's have a look at the driving impression. If you've driven an EV before, the Mirai will come as no surprise. The powertrain reacts swiftly, and the rear instant torque makes the quoted figures seem uncertain. Indeed, the Mirai's horsepower and torque aren't all that dissimilar to those of the Camry. Because of all much torque, it may be faster off the mark, although the losses steam far sooner than its ice-powered twin. 
the entire process takes place in near silence, even quieter than your average EV. Naturally, the suspension has been fine-tuned for comfort. With its massive multi-spoke wheels, the Mirai nonetheless absorbs bumps nicely, with a bit of shake or noise entering the inside. Because most of the weight is distributed low in the frame, the performance is smooth and secure. The Toyota Mirai 2022 should not be a Toyota. It's much more like a Lexus, with a tranquil in-cabin feel and a smooth ride. Overall, the Mirai appears to be a rather ordinary car to drive. Here's an automobile that doesn't differ much from our usual driving habits. There's no charge, so simply go to a gas station and refill. There's only one problem, even in California, Quebec, and British Columbia, where Toyota will initially sell the Mirai, few hydrogen stations. It's no surprise that Toyota USA provides up to $15,000 in extra fuel. The 2022 Mirai is being sold at $50,525 for the XLE trim and going up to $67,025 for the fully loaded limited variant. It is the same pricing range as the previous Mirai. As we said before, the Mirai qualifies for several incentives, including a hydrogen vehicle credit and state rebates such as the California Clean Vehicle Rebate. So, do the features of the new Toyota Mirai Hydrogen suit your needs? Please share it with us in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.